Hello everybody and welcome to Letterbox Book Club. My name is Claire. And I'm Mackenzie. And today we will be discussing Glint, the second book in Raven Kennedy's Plated Prisoner series. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thoughts, feelings, emotions, you first. <laughs> Let's do the blow first. Oh shit. <laughs> or the description first. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. She just wants to get in quick. Only because you smashed out like two, like the yeah. second and third. You just really want to get into it. I didn't realise how not big they were. I believe this one was like 460 ebook pages. Oh, yeah. Does that mean I clicked 400 times on my Kindle? <laughs> at, at least, yes. But then it depends on like your font text size. size. I saw the other day that you could increase your font size and I did it and I hate it. It's <laughs> taking to go back. you over a year to, to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I just go dark mode, light mode, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing on TikTok people with their Kindles and the text is so big. <laughs> and then like younger people as well. I'm like, do you really have that and, like, much Like, Imagine port? reading that. On, yeah. Like on public yeah, yeah. transport or something, it's yeah. like cock, cock, cock. <laughs> <laughs> or, or in the first book, cunt, cunt, yeah. cunt. Yeah. yeah, settle, settle. Yeah. Um, I did get the other day, I had to, your battery is low, please charge your Kindle oh, for yeah, the yeah. first time. Oh, right. <laughs> Since you bought your Since Kindle. Since I bought it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love this. All right, here we go. But you also audiobook it a lot, so anyway. Not these ones. Yeah, no, not these ones, but yeah, just but in general. Books, yeah. 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 For ten years, I've lived in a gilded cage inside King Midas' golden castle, but one night changed everything. Now I'm here, a prisoner of Fourth Kingdom's army, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it out of this in one piece. They're marching to battle, and I'm the bargaining chip that will either douse the fire or spark a war. At the heart of my fear, my worry, there's him, Commander Rip. Known for his brutality on the battlefield, his viciousness is unsurpassed, but I know the truth about what he is. Fay. The betrayers, the murderers, the ones who nearly destroyed Oria, wiping out Seventh Kingdom in the process. Rip has power sizzling beneath his skin and glinting spikes down his spine. But his eyes, his eyes are the most compelling of all. When he turns those black eyes on me, I feel captive for an entirely different reason. I may be out of my cage, but I'm not free. Not even close. In the game of kings and armies, I'm the gilded pawn. The question is, can I outmaneuver them? Please note, there is explicit language and romance in this book not suitable for those under the age of 18. Lovely. <laughs> Love Proved that. by Australian government camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the tone that I thought. <laughs> Alrighty, those feelings are just sketchy. I'm kidding. You technically asked me first. Yeah, no, no. Wow. I forgot that book's up low, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sheesh. Um, what a stark contrast it is to the first book mm. in terms of vulgarity, which was nice and refreshing. Mm-hmm. I made a note to become aware of how many times the word cunt was used and it was only once oh nice which is, which is a better ratio than the other time um oh yeah I, I i did enjoy it yes i liked it i'm ready to smash out the third book i loved the twist and turns i feel like an idiot because i should have seen the little revelation coming but i just um i, I forget just which one it is uh, i'm just gonna say it like the rip, rip revelation oh, yeah, 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 yeah. or the revenge yeah revelation. i didn't see that coming no yeah because you think because you go back to the first book and the motto is, you know, no magic, no rule. And, like, you just yeah. think that he's the exception when yeah. he is not. This book did feel similar in terms of, like, the structure of the first book. Like, the first book we learn about Oren's life in Midas's kingdom and in his custody or whatever. And her intense Stockholm Syndrome. And, like, how we see how Midas kind of manipulates her and stuff. But then in this book, it's similar, but in the opposite effect where she's a bit more free and she's more well-respected. Mm. And everyone, like, treats her normally like a human. Mm. Um, it's just similar structure and, like, they're travelling along and there's not, like, a lot really yeah. happening as much. Um, but you're just learning about her and about the Fourth's army and Commander Rip and all that type of stuff. And, yeah, interesting that we get Queen Melina's point of view as well. <laughs> I know, <laughs> the face <laughs> Kenzie just made. Look, I read the first, I think, three chapters of her point of view, like, when they came to mm. be. And, like, I was interested because it's, like, you know, she's realised... Oh, I'll talk about it probably a bit more later. You know, she's un- trying to undermine Midas' Minus, rule because it's literally her kingdom. Because mm-hmm. she has no power, she can't rule it. And, like, it, it's fun seeing, you know, how she kind of takes over and um, what type of ruler she's trying to be and not necessarily a good one. Um, and, yeah, just Oren making friends with the Fourth Army. And, see, at that point, I should have realised, like, these are obviously, like, the good quote-unquote good guys, you know? You know, everything is not what we're led to believe. And yeah, Oren is getting stronger. I liked that. Her training. Because I remember you famously last week said how weak she is. To be fair, I agreed. I agreed. But um, yeah, her whole development so far reminded me of... I'm going to try to be vague because I don't know if, if people who read this would have read Throne of Glass. But our main character in Throne of Glass who, you know, sort of 
comes into her past self in the third book mm. but like mm. she, she kind of hides that away yeah and it's kind of the same with Oren. yeah because <clears throat> we all made guesses as to where she's from and whatever and like that's that turns out to be true i know it's but, so yeah. much things that you don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> much more things i don't know but yeah no it's the, the journey so far is set up quite well for Oren, i think and i may be mispronouncing mm. her name mm. Oren, i think Oren. Yeah. yeah but yeah interesting and then yeah to fully uh, i feel fully vindicated in knowing that midas is just an asshole so yeah love that thoughts feelings and emotions kenzie i enjoyed this book i'm very yes. happy that i enjoyed this book because i hated the first one yes, yes. <laughs> and i was like i'm not sure if i can slog through yeah four more of these it's <laughs> honestly it's yeah i wouldn't be surprised if many people were discouraged from reading the first mm. book into the second because mm. of how like vulgar and yeah. like unsexually violent and yeah. stuff it is and obviously again it's just the first book was setting up the journey and then this one again is setting up but it does it in a more fluid manner i yeah. think whereas the first one was just more information 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 yeah bit of plot yep. information more to come and this one's like okay well here's information within the plot mm. more um yeah i enjoyed it i think there's a lot more to come i think there are a lot more secrets to come out <laughs> of course um interesting things i am nearly at the end of the fourth book oh jesus christ so i'm scared now because it's going to end yeah and i just saw that <laughs> and I'm the scared. Because I didn't know there was a fifth book right. until you convinced me. You're like, is there five books? I'm like, no, there's four. But yeah, uh, the, the third, uh, fifth book is coming out in December this year. Oh my so god, so I'm actually. No. It's not too far away though, Kinsey. I know, but that means that I've rushed through this now and then I'm going to be sad. Because <laughs> I, I was looking on my Kindle this morning and right. I was like, and it said pre order. Oh. It's like something of December 2023. I'm like, ah. We timed it well, accidentally. What if we say we have a terminal illness and we're dying? Can we get it early? <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish. Make a wish. All right. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Back to our previously scheduled. Anyway. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Uh, literally, my first note is finally Oren is growing a bit of a backbone. Yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> I was just, I think that's what turned me off a lot with the first one as well, is that she was just such a weak main main female character and mm. i did not enjoy it and i don't think women are weak so i didn't like the way she was portrayed <laughs> yeah it's unfortunately the way that they can set it up for her to develop yeah. and become stronger and in her power and yeah. in herself and yeah. self-resilience and all that stuff unfortunately without spoilers in the fourth book she does take a bit of a backslide oh so then it makes me very I feel angry. like i feel like she's taken a bit of a backslide already yeah. in this book <laughs> so like it doesn't matter yeah so yeah yeah just her her innate her loyalty in monologue. <laughs> yeah her innate loyalty Loyal to midas mm. uh, yeah pisses yeah pisses mm. me off but like we we learned that in the first book you know her backstory and like mm. you know in her vulnerable state like it's very easy mm. to like listen to midas's words and believe what he says yeah. and think that he's looking out yeah. for the best in her and all that type of stuff so also i wrote oh shit queen melina also, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, and I think I and I said to you that I very much approached her chapters the same as I approached the Eye and Teeth chapters in Throne of Glass. As in, yeah. my first read through, I just didn't read them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or well, you read a couple here and there, yeah. but if it's just their own inner working, because yeah, it didn't like... really add any context to what was happening. Yeah. And then you go back and you read like a couple, but you just skim it for the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, for the first few chapters of Queen Melina, as I said, yeah, I, because like you want to get her thoughts, because she's finally, um, we can just go straight into talk about Queen Melina, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, what a beard. But like, would, you would be pissy if you were the rightful heir to a kingdom, but you couldn't rule because you had no power. Mm -hmm. Like, and then you have to essentially abdicate it to your husband who has a power. Like, that yeah. would, like, I'd be bitter and pissy about it for the rest of my life as well. Mm. So but, more backstory as well comes in for her later. And you're like, okay, well, you're just an idiot. So. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Also, have you been... Do we get introduced to her saddle in this one? I may have skipped that chapter. Oh, okay. Well, she has a saddle. What's his name? Geo. Geo. I think that's... For, I yeah. Think we anyway, and him. I was like, how hypocritical of her being an absolute fucking bitch to Midas because he yeah. has saddles. And here you are. You have your own saddle. I'd get it if she was angry because she didn't have a saddle and she just had to like sit and let her husband have mistresses and a favored and whatever but like and you could have probably had one from the beginning yeah i don't know maybe she just kept herself for midas just in case on the off chance she gets pregnant yeah like she was probably holding on to that hope because yeah she is as they say a barren mm. pretty much infertile mm -hmm. and i wonder if there's a reason for that <laughs> 
Oh, uh, don't do this to me, Kenzie. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, so yeah, Queen Melina reflects on like pretty much her time, like before Midas, like before the kingdom is essentially made of gold and it was in squalor. Mm. Um, and she's really taken this time for Midas being away and manhandling the fifth kingdom. Um, she's really going to wield her crown. As yeah, she's like, <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> exactly. And, but then everyone was like, are we sure about this? Yeah. Well, it's like they forgot that she was, yeah, the rightful heir. Yeah. Also, I had a little bit of a listen on the audiobook on Spotify because Spotify has done that thing where you're allowed 15 hours a month mm-hmm. of audiobooks. And the way – it's probably because she was – the narrator was British, but she said Midas. Midas. Oh. Not like Midas. That's like it so sounds weird. like one syllable instead of like the two. Yeah. yeah. Midas. <laughs> Midas. It just it just irked me. But That's anyway. so weird. Yeah. But um, also – Sorry, because on the Spotify thing, 15 hours, like, that's two books. Yeah. And it's like, okay, maybe the average person is listening to two books a month. I'm listening to two books a day. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Especially this past week. Yeah, Jesus especially if you put it in 1.25 speed. Yeah. <laughs> I put mine on Spotify in the 1.5 speed. It was pretty good. Mm. Ooh, 1.5. Yeah, but Ooh, I do he, 1.25. <laughs> here's the caveat, though. If you put it in one point like five speed you're essentially listening to a little bit less of the mm. audio book so is, does it count the whole 10 hours for instance yeah, does or, it is count it, what the book or is, is it actually normally. like eight hours yeah interesting wonder well i guess we'll find out it could okay. be glitch of the matrix anyway but a lot of people are reading like the like smaller books i guess i'm not yeah. reading big fantasy books so they can yeah. s- s- smash out not like everyone's five. like us i guess <laughs> <laughs> um but anyway, see, so yeah, Queen Melina has taken this opportunity to regain her kingdom, I guess, and everyone's a bit iffy about it. And there are chapters where she's like, this is the one where I skipped, where like she's kind of organising her court and her mm-hmm. advisors and stuff. And then um, she pays a visit to the peasants. Yes. Because she's like, I'm your hero, because she's trying to, again, undermine Midas, Midas's yeah. rule and make everyone hate him. But they all turn on her anyway. Yes. She's like, you don't actually help us. Because she's just giving gold yeah, she's and giving gifts. Crin- yeah, trinkets. Trinkets. <laughs> trinkets. And I love like a baby crinket. dolls and stuff. And, like, and she's wondering, what have I done wrong? Yeah, and it's like, mm, the maybe. Arrog- the yeah. arrogance and out-of-touch yeah. behaviour is... It's giving is it- um, celebrity singing Imagine during COVID. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. giving Vanessa Hudgens, I mean, people <laughs> are going to, to die. die. That's just, it's just what yeah, it is. so out-of-touch. <laughs> but, yeah, so interesting to see what goes on from there. And then her final chapter, um, she meets uh, a magical stranger who's like... Pruin. Yes, so Pruin. Is he relevant to the rest of the series, if you can remember from what you've read? Yes. Kind of. He just pops in and out. No, he's there. Um, <laughs> and he's there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Um, anyway, but his gift is to yeah. gr- uh, grant someone it's their greatest desire. Their greatest desire. He can, yeah, he <laughs> gives them something that shows them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or and then... Yeah, there's a map. Yeah. And then <clears throat> Melina is like, this isn't right because the Seventh Kingdom is on there. It's destroyed, yeah. But it's destroyed. And then he's like is smirking, it? having a bit of a cheeky smile. Yeah. I think it hasn't been revealed yet, but also it's sussy wussy. But also from what happens, I think there's something bigger at play with Fruin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. He could be Rip's brother, for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wild guess from book two. Wait, he's Rip's brother? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, no, just reject yeah, sorry. it. Yeah, no, no. Which brother comes into it, though, in an interesting way. Oh, he has way. a brother. Oh, a what brother. a guess. Yeah. Oh, okay, funny, fun. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so in my sense, like, obviously, the Seventh Kingdom is going to be more at play later yeah. on, and, like, it's going to yeah. be revealed that they're, I don't know, breaking into the same dimension again, and they're yeah. going to live, not harmoniously, but yeah. there's going to be some tension and but stuff But again, there. yeah, I'm halfway through the fourth book, and, like, the way it's come in, I'm just like, I don't know how much, like, if you can fit everything in. Yeah, I think okay. I think there are, like, two different plots going on. Okay. Which is not cool, good. Cool. But, yeah, but, yeah, this book is good at, like, planting those, like, threads as well. Mm. Do you have any qualms? I should have asked that before we started dipping into Melina, but, like, we can uh, get Melina out of the way. Yes. What are your qualms? My qualm is... Really only that the bulk of this book, again, is taken up by other stuff. But, like, the bulk of it is taken up by travel. Yes. And in the camp. I think I heard Oren, or I saw Oren, saw Red, <laughs> Oren say that I think between being sent to, to Midas mm. in the fi- fi- Fifth Kingdom, I think it's been, like, two months. Yeah. So, like, that's a long time for, yeah. like, nothing. Yeah. But also, I like that because of what, like, Happened. Happens. Happens. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's better than two weeks. Yeah. 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 That's yeah I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Fair point. And I said, there's more story and plot, quotation marks, than Guild. Mm. But again, it can tell it's just setting up for more mm. to come. Yeah. 
And setting up Oren as her character. Yeah, which has just reminded me of something I need to put in my notes in here. Okay, cool, cool. All right, I have a quick qualm. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know if it's a qualm of sorts or if I just misread it or if I missed it. So we know how Raven Kennedy likes to overemphasize little quirks or traits or aspects of a character yeah. every time Oren looks at them or talks about them. Yeah. Example one, uh, King Falk with his askewed crown. And then I'm noticing now with Commander Rip, especially in this book, every time she looks at him, she has to make a comment on either his shoulder mm. spikes or the spikes from his arms. Eyebrows? And, not eyebrows, like the spikes. Yeah, no, but he has them up here as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And she always mentions that. You'll, it'll come oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it well, anyway, me. anyway, yeah. Anyway, there's a spike that's always mentioned. And then at the end, you know, when she's in the cage and she, uh, her glove somehow falls off. Mm-hmm. Now, I may be dumb. Has she been wearing gloves this entire time? This is my thing, yes, but it's not made explicitly clear. Yeah, no, that's yeah. the thing, because I and feel socks. like... Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I understand they are adventuring through, like, a snowy-ish tundra, and they're mm. always complaining about how cold it is, mm. sure. Like, if it's just general, like, snow, warm mittens, yeah. whatever. But I didn't know if she was wearing, like, actual gloves with the intent of protecting her hands the entire time, and I don't think it ever really got brought up. No. Because I would have liked but more... Will. I would have paid attention a bit more if there was like, oh, I'm fiddling with my gloves or like, I'm making sure nothing gets caught on my gloves. And I just felt like, huh, so she's been wearing gloves the entire time, which obviously, again, I should have figured it out because, you know, you know, have the theory that she was gold touching things anyway. Yeah. So like, it makes sense. Yeah. But like, I don't know. Would you like me to just go through my notes? Sure. Okay. These essays. Rip is hiding lots of secrets. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rip want, I want Rip to rail me. <laughs> Rip, yes. <laughs> Rip continues to hold secrets though. Yeah, yeah. Rip as in Rip my asshole. <laughs> Why do you think he's called Rip? I don't know because... <laughs> right. It has nothing to do with the Ravenger. Is it a nickname? Is it like... A... It's a nickname. This know. is a qualm. Okay, this is a qualm I had though. Okay. Is yeah. it his like, last name? Ravenger Rip or something? No, no, no. This is my qualm. Okay, big plot twist is that Rip is King Ravenger yeah, slash King Rod. Slash blah, blah, blah. Slade. Slash Slade. Here's my thing. So he's Rip, he's Slade, yep. he's King Rot, yep. and he's Ravenger. Yep. What is it? Like, <laughs> Slade. Okay, so Slade's his name. <laughs> but like. It's, it's giving Hawk Castile. <laughs> yeah, Hawk Castile, Hawthorne, Denier. Yeah, Denier. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, like, the, no one's ever referenced him as Hawthorne. Yeah. yeah. It's well, like, where did Ravenger come from? I don't know. Well, I did... <laughs> Ravenger rot. <laughs> in the camp... Oh, what's the... Is it Osric or something? Osric. Like, they talk about how they spread rumours. Yeah. They could all have yeah. just been fucking rumours that everyone's caught on. Yeah. I yeah. think it's in this one where she asks, why is he called Rip? Like, you're known as Rip because you rip people's heads yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, ha, Everyone's like, ha, 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 I spread that one. Also, it took me a long time to realise that Osric is Osric and not Osric. And oh, I kept okay. being like, oh, Os? I was Os- like, that's a weird name. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's meant to be Os. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Os- yeah, also in the audiobook, from what I listened, or the Menda, Hozak or whatever, like he was Scottish and it was just so funny. Hojak, yeah. Hojak, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love him. But yeah, so like, all right, King, yeah, King, well, King Rot is a good nickname because of all the rotting yeah. magic. So is his name meant to be Ravinger? Ra- King, King Ravinger is what he's just... Yeah. It's the kingdoms have been known as. So maybe he's just like bait and switch and everything. Yeah. I guess that... Midas, because his name is Tyndall. Yeah. And... As well, and he's Tyndall Midas. <laughs> Tyndall is such a loser name. <laughs> as well, you know? <laughs> Tyndall, how embarrassing. I forgot to mention that in the first potty as well. Also, in the first potty, I may have gotten confused between the fourth and fifth kingdom like many times. Oh, but okay. a bit more clarity now that we're actually into the, like, the, oh, yeah. into the series. I yeah, I so why is his name Rip? Do you figure it out? Yeah, you learn in the fourth, and oh, it's stupid. In the fourth, yeah, oh, fuck off, and it's so stupid. I want to. I really want to know. <laughs> I want to wait. That's okay. If you say it, I can cut it out. No, because it's a spoiler oh. for you. Oh, so it's a big thing. Yeah, but like it's stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's like why did that? Like don't uh, remind him of that. That's what I really mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he got bullied or something as a kid. <laughs> yeah, essentially. <laughs> um, um, yeah, to be known as you know, Commander Rip and then Slade. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's okay. All right, next note. Oren is obviously Faye. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we yeah, knew we, this. We knew. All right, next note. I think Oren is the one who has the power. <laughs> we knew. <laughs> Which is what I said in the first one. I was like, but I think... you also said that you think that Midas took that power and then used it. Yeah, that's what I said. Either, like, he... 50-50. I th- yeah, I thought, like, either he, yeah, like, gave her the power or whatever, or that, yeah, she... Or I thought that she could give it to him 
somehow mm-hmm. like telepathic. And that's what Rissa says. Yeah. She's like, because they have a chat and everything. Yeah. But then, and then I was like, oh, she has the power just herself. So yeah. It was and a- I apologize for calling Anissa throughout the entire first book. That's okay. <laughs> oh, first potty. Sorry. Yeah. Next note. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yes. It's pretty much Stockholm Syndrome 2.0 in this yeah. book as well. Yeah. But with respect. Yeah. Next note. Not sure why we can't get a conflict in every book. I when I was talking about that this book is mostly just travel. Mm-hmm. I was like, why can't we have a little something something in every book? Mm. Like, I mean, it was a, it was a bit tense when Oren was sneaking about and trying to find yeah. the the hawks and stuff, mm. and she'd always get caught by people, and it's like, mm. but then they're not going to do anything. Mm. How sad though that she just assumed everyone wanted to like rape her. I know, <laughs> but I suppose that's been set up since the first book. Yeah. It just goes to show what the people are like in Six Kingdom compared to the fourth. Yeah. Also, I think in this book as well, she says that this it's like the first time someone's looked at her. As a person, and mm. not like, like people just aren't ogling her; they're mm. actually just treating her like a person. Keg is her pal, the yeah. cook, and then Osric, and then we got Lou as Lou, well. Yeah, everyone's all just chilling. This is where I should have known. Like these are the good guys, yeah. quote unquote good guys. Well, this is very much night court vibes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> never trust the second, the like the main enemy that seems to intercept. Yeah, yeah. and never trust the first love interest. Never trust unless them. it's fourth wing <laughs> because I'm holding on for dear life. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping that technically Dane is the first love interest in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, sorry, back to this book. Riss's deal with Oren, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Very important leading book coming. Yeah. Moving forward, I should say. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I'm assuming that you've read the book, but Riss's deal is yeah. that she, when they get to fifth, they she wants Oren to, like, give her gold because Rissa wants to pay out her contract as a saddle and mm-hmm. she wants to leave. Yep, fair enough. Yeah, and Oren's like, otherwise I'm going to tell everyone that you stole his power. Oh, and also that she turned the captain. Oh, she turned the captain gold. gold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oren is way too nice to the other saddles. I like, know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, bitch, they don't like you. Yeah. Just leave them. Leave to them suffer. alone. Yeah. And then that when she like gets in bars and stuff, and they're like, we don't want you here. Like, fuck off, essentially. Yeah. Like, just take that as it is and yeah. just leave. <laughs> like, they're just two people pleaser. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, they don't respect you. They've have never some respect liked you. you. Have some respect, respect for, for yourself, yourself and yeah. just fuck them off. I yeah. would flaunt my freedom in front of them just to be a bitch. Yeah. Again, with the use of the word saddle. Yeah. Uh, so I've written down as well that I didn't expect Forth to use that as a nickname term. as well. Yeah, nick- term terminology as well. I thought it might have just been like a like a whore. I, and I thought it was a derogatory term. Yeah. But then they're just like, oh it's no, like, like it's just a legit saddle. thing it's in like, this no, world. That's just what they call them. It's like, Even Third Kingdom has yeah. saddles. But it's like, it's just call them whores. Whores or concubines, concubines or prostitutes yeah. or your mistress or mister or whatever the mister equivalent is. Probably still a mistress. Yeah, I don't know. What is, yeah, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> I'm just curious. What is the male version of a mistress? A gigolo? A gigolo. Oh no, uh, well, I, Male equivalent. A jigabobo. All right. The terms used to refer to the male equivalent to a mistress are usually either unisex, i.e. lover or paramour, 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 oh. or have different connotations. Gigolo, impl- which implies male prostitute. Oh, oh well, there we go. We learned something new today. Sorry, go on. Um, but yeah, fuck those saddles. They don't like you. <laughs> I mean, literally, fuck their saddles yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the um, the revelation that Mist is the Mist chick is pregnant. Oh yeah, drama. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Or it is jealous. Yeah, that changes. It changes everything. <laughs> is it important? No. Oh. Uh, no. Yeah, no, not after third. Not after third. It's not important. I suppose not much is really developing. Yeah. In terms of the fetus, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Midas is a piece of shit, <laughs> but also we've been new. I literally had that written down. <laughs> and then, ooh, big plot twist, Rip is Ravenger who is slayed. Crazy town. <laughs> yeah. I, I wrote Rip is, Raven- Rip is Ravenger is slayed <laughs> as my final note. Yeah, so is, far- rot. <laughs> yeah, is rot. Is <laughs> rot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I had. <laughs> yeah, lovely, lovely. But yeah, all the travelling and... Just trying to escape and everyone treating her with relative respect. Mm. Um, and that she was sharing a tent with Rip as well just yeah. for – because he's like, I don't actually trust you. I trust my soldiers, yeah. but I don't trust yeah. you. Because he obviously knows yeah. what a goldfinch actually is yeah. in terms of a species, a face species. Do you have any favourite moments in this book? I don't know. When they kiss. <laughs> I love the kiss. <laughs> the most, like – softest lightest kiss ever i also like when he walks in and sees her naked <laughs> we love that trope and, he's like, well. <laughs> and then she's like all the sexual trauma just like yeah. fuck off yeah. i also um liked the hint of when 
she's like, don't touch me, no one touch me, ah, blah, 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 I will mm. apply my own salve to my yeah. wounds, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. And then you figure out that it's like, oh, no, like, if she touches things, they're going to turn to gold. So, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so it's too. like a double entendre. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. and she has a nightmare as well about, um, yeah, like her hands just seeping gold and mm. her not being able to control it, and she solidifies herself. Mm. Crazy town. Um, and yeah, a lot of this book as well, there's like a few like dream slash nightmare mm. scenarios of her dreaming of Midas saving her, mm. but in that one it's specifically he doesn't save her, he's just like angry and pissed off, yeah. which Kill Bill sounds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then I liked, um, 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 I think it's in this one when she is handed is she handed back in this one yeah at yeah. the end yeah, yeah they meet king midas oh yeah that's right fifth. she's handed back and slade like lifts her off the horse and he they're like i don't think you should touch oh and he's like i yeah. think you should shut the fuck up yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a power move yeah <laughs> that was hot yeah i was like rip me daddy rip me <laughs> literally <half."> <laughs> literally <laughs> that is why his name is rip yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no yeah and all the six guards were like <laughs> Pikachu shocked emoji face. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what? They're like, someone touched her? Yeah, someone touched her. What? Yeah. Also, I said last episode that Digby was dead. He is, in fact, not dead. We yeah. just don't know where he is. He is MIA. Yeah. And uh, Oren was trying to visit the guards as well, and um, she realised he wasn't there. Yeah. So, does Digby pop up again in the future? Digby does pop up oh, again. I love that. Yeah. yeah. In horrific ways. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it. But it's okay. He's still alive. Good, good, at good. this point. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Wait till the fifth book. <laughs> Everyone's going to die. I can sense it. Yeah, I can yeah. sense it. I really enjoyed the little, like, quirk of the camp between, like, the left oh, flank the, and the right yeah. flank and the stealing the wines and then Oren helped Osric, I think, and Lou steal one. Judd and Lou. Judd, that's it. To be yeah. fair, there are too many names popping up and, like, they're so consistent. I'm like, I don't want to have to remember <laughs> you or write you down. <laughs> but they're, but yeah. they're important. They're, they are important. Mm, they're important. They're, they're, the fin- they're the friend group. They're the wrath or the whatever. The wrath, yeah. His, like, inner circle yeah. army. I still can't get past her fucking ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> her tendrils. Her tendrils. <laughs> no, they're, like, actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I've I had to... I thought, I was like, tendrils, cool, I get that. But no, they're just fucking ribbons. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't shit on the goldfinch face species. Just like, Rip doesn't appreciate that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, I kept imagining King Rot as just like a really ugly person. <laughs> ugly old like, decrepit yeah, guy. Because like King Rot. And so now I had to face the fact that like, oh, he it's, must be a really hot it's guy. A, it's our sexy male love interest. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, great. <laughs> Shit. But he can like metamorphose or whatever. Yeah. He can like change his features yeah. and, and I stuff. And I'm into the, the, like, the, the roots under his skin. Like, All right. Hot. Yeah, you can get with get with some like I don't know weird torture play happening there, Kenzie. Yeah, I know you'd love that. Yeah, brought me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and and Oren being Fey, because there was a part where she could see the fifth kingdom being like kind of surrounded by mm. fourth's army. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting yeah. the right right kingdom's name right. And like there is a moment where she actually sees King Rot like and with the. The, um, I suppose wheeltering land under mm. him as he yeah. rode his horse and stuff, yeah. and she was able to sense that power. But surely she would have been able to recognize it with Rip, but maybe not just because he's not actively using that the wheeltering kind yeah, of power, he rotting power. Yeah, he has different power. Yeah, altogether. Yeah, he sounds just fucking op. Yeah. Also, like she sees his aura. Oh, oh and I was like, cool. is this not an indication? Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, and also, um, I was going to say something about rot, Rip. <sighs> Oh, yes, Rip, Rot, Rippy, Daddy, <laughs> Slade. <Slutty. Slutty. laughs> yeah, he, there were several times when he's, like, referring to, like, Oren or whatever, and he's like, you need to learn how to, like, fly, or, like, you need to find the edge, and then what are you going to do? And she's like, what am I going to do when I get to the edge? And he's like, fly. And I was like, it's goldfish, not book. <laughs> fly. It's not in this book, though. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, but he's very much, in when they're training and stuff, he's okay. like, you got to give in to your instincts yeah. and stuff, like those sort of like meaningful yeah. first step lessons. So I'm just like, mm, there are things that are coming. Yeah, okay. We don't know. Yeah. But then I'm like, then they did come. Okay. And then I got very confused. And, and I know you said you recognized a goldfinch as like a bird yeah. species. Like, I yeah. didn't really know that. Yeah. So like, obviously she's going to like, <laughs> I don't know, fly at some point by the sounds of that. You would think so. You would think so. <laughs> I'd be very disappointed if she does not end up flying in the near future. I'm going to let you know that you're going to be severely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was all that about then? <laughs> anyway, that's a little spoily. Yeah. But no. you don't know. Yeah, that's you know? okay. You don't no, know. No, that's fine. But like, it, it was, it was relevant because, yeah, because... 
when they're training yeah. because like yeah, yeah let your ribbons like loose and yeah. fight you don't have to hide them anymore yeah I, don't know. I suppose the only annoying thing about like just Orin in this book is yeah her unwavering loyalty to just, Midas yeah, her and her persistence love. to continue to stay with Midas. It's yeah, like... and like she has no reason to trust Rip because as far as she's aware, like they're just there to potentially use her and just sell her off back to Midas for a gain. Yeah, yeah, she's very much even though she's not treated like a prisoner, she's always bringing up the fact that she is a prisoner yeah. to them. And yeah, it's just, oh. but Rip was right though. And like, as an audience, we agree with him that, you know, Midas is just manipulative and he doesn't love her and he doesn't care. Oh, and we also get the lovely Midas chapter or single Midas point of view chapter as well towards the end. Mm. But that's just him meeting with Ravenger as well. All right. So in that meeting, there was a, a guard, you know, part of the, the wrath or whatever, mm. who had the spikes. And then I assumed at that point that would have been Rip. So like are the rest of the wrath fey and they can change themselves or is it just like can he change somebody to make it look like him so he can also play as ravenger or is there a decoy ravenger what is going on don't look at me like that kid do you want me to tell you you can tell me yeah. okay so it's his brother he does oh, okay yeah who oh. is the standing rip in the scene at the end when they're negotiating yeah but also just always like oh, okay yeah he's the standing rip like when he has to be ravenger Okay. Yeah, so that's like the whole thing. It comes up. There's a lot yeah. of, lots of okay. contention. Yeah, cool. There's contention about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, because then, like, yeah, and then Rip finds Orin at the end yeah. to talk to her, and I'm going to assume break her out. But yeah, and I'm like, well, if he's here, then, then what's happening? And then, yeah. yeah, there had to have been a decoy yeah. of sorts. Yeah. I thought that it was just going to be him, like, able to, like, astral project or something. Uh, yeah. But no, it's just, it's his brother. But then he can still change his features a bit. His brother's features or his own features? His own. Yeah, he changes his own features. But so he, what he looks like is what his, him and his brother look very similar. But because yep. his brother's always got the helmet on. Okay. So you can't tell that they're like, look. Okay, because mm. when Midas was talking to Ravenger, uh, he noted that Ravenger had green eyes and mm. we know that Rip has black eyes. So yeah. I was like, yeah. the fuck? In his Ravenger form, he has green eyes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which like, again, I don't understand why you need the yeah. But I do like a good old, like, guard deploy because it's like that in Star Wars as well with yeah. Padme. And yes. Then it's, uh, where else have, has there been a decoy guard situation? I don't know, but I like that, like, yeah. trope or that character journey. But, yeah, all right, thank you for the clarification. No I worries. also really enjoyed that, yeah, Rip was trying to get the best out of Orin as well because mm. I assuming, because I didn't realise he was Ravenger, um, I just thought it was, like, Maybe like a fey to fey friendship situation. Like we're both fey in this world. We are both, I don't know, perhaps endangered if mm. people knew. Like I'm doing this to help you out to survive in this world or whatever. Yeah. But no, it just turned out. Um, yeah. It's going to be more than that, obviously. Yeah. But like I'm now just a little bit confused just why he kissed her. I mean, I get it, but like. Because he loves, loves her. Because like calls to like. I was just, this is another soulmate situation or mate situation. 100%. I mean, it yeah. hasn't been explicitly stated, but, like, it has to be, you know? Yeah, surely. I mean, he said um, he said to her, like, I wasn't meant to find you on the ship. Yeah. So, like, obviously you searching. Yeah. Maybe, like, once word comes out of this gold lady yeah. <laughs> 10 years ago, everyone's probably going to yeah. be on the hunt. But if you're a fae especially, you're like, I recognise yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. I think they're, like, cool to each other. Mm. <laughs> um, I like... So yeah, Oren's like, Midas, no, I'm not going back in the cage. Like, I yeah, she stopped herself. And then he's like, I'm going to lock you in it anyway, And bitch. then that's when we realise he is a cunt. Yes, and she has the power. <laughs> yes, she has the power. Yes. And Midas is a fraud. Yes. Surprised he managed to survive the two months without having to turn anything into gold for the fourth, fifth kingdom. Well, anyway. he said might have been hinted at in this one but in the next one they brought lots of stuff with them oh, like okay. they brought coins and stuff oh, right. oh yeah and then sure. yeah he said as well like he talks to them the people and he's like he doesn't want to like show off his power while they're still in mourning yeah fair because yeah. what a lad he is yeah killing their fucking king yeah to be fair he deserved it oh and then i just loved when might have said i something about I like I don't need your forgiveness i just need your power it's like yeah. ding 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 yeah. what a villain it's like um and because he always calls her like precious and stuff and i yeah. think Again, like, it's somewhere where, like, he would never, like, he doesn't hug her. He just, like, 
taps her on the cheek yeah, or like on the, taps on the her nose, nose or the head or something. Tapping on the yeah. fucking nose. And it reminds me of like Entangled when like Mother Gothel is like brushing her hair yeah. and she's like singing to the hair or whatever. It's like it's yeah. never like she didn't love the person, she loved yeah. the power. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, he's yeah. always like touch or maybe it was maybe Dream Midas as well, but like he's always like touching the tip of her nose. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that he had also a decoy Orin, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like Orin Gold Lady Just from painted, Wish, yeah. from Wish, yeah. Timu, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Timu Orin. Yeah, but unfortunately she died yeah. um, because Orin <laughs> killed her, turned her into gold. I unlucky. guess. Yeah, unlucky. <laughs> Which yeah, obviously highlights because um, when she's yelling at Midas about mm. how she doesn't need that protection anymore, he's like, "Remember this certain place." So I assume she's accidentally killed people before with the Golden Touch out Carnif. of. Yeah, that's it. That's important. That's important. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but like, no, but you find out. And it's just like, oh, that's sad. But <laughs> <laughs> I love that journey <laughs> of description. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it just goes to show that, yeah, she's fully yeah manipulated by Midas yeah. and she yeah. believes his every word and is yeah. fearful of the world. And it's like you realise that the cage, like... It was never to protect her, like it's yeah. to protect everyone else. It's like, yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. gross. But he also probably said that because she just killed somebody. Yeah. And it's like, see, you're the monster, mm. you need to be caged up. Whereas, yeah, she is fully capable now mm. of protecting herself in some form. Um, but yeah, I just got really ticked off about the glove thing. I'm like, has she been wearing gloves this entire time? Yeah, well, it's not made explicitly clear. Yeah, so no. it's like, oh, okay. When I realised, I was like, oh, okay. But like, I wish it was. So yeah, then I, I would have been clear. like, all right, what's with the fucking gloves? Yeah, exactly. I wish there was like a little something where, yeah, again, like, apart from that time when she, uh, gloves sl- slips off, like, I would have liked mm. in like the first one if maybe at some point or whatever she couldn't find her glove or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah. It, oh, that's right. It was really. I wish it was giving more Elsa from Frozen. Like, mm. she was very pedantic about her gloves. gloves and yeah. if Oren was just as pedantic about it, I would have been like, well, but maybe that could have given it away a bit more. Because Raven's really writing this out. But it where could have we been, like, out. it should have been, it could have been disguised as a, like, no one's meant to touch me kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, sure. Like, no one can touch my skin or, like. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and um, I'm surprised Oren didn't really get super pissed when she realised, well, at Midas, when she realised that Midas had known that Ravenger had her for the two months and he oh, hasn't yeah. do anything to save her. Yeah, when she's like, did you get my hawk? And he's like, no. Yeah, I think I think it got intercepted personally yeah. or it hadn't got there yet. Yeah. But he did know prior since the Red Raid situation yeah. and, like, he had done nothing to... And then, you know, he's pleading with her, like, you know, I'll do anything it takes to, like, protect you and, like, well... You've just spent two months doing fuck all trying to rescue yeah, her. Yeah, you like, haven't sent anyone after me to... Yeah. Is but it maybe this one that we find out? <laughs> if you say it, I can cut it out. No, I don't want to spoil you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we find out what motivated the Red Raids. Okay. No, I don't think so. Okay. We find out who hired them. Oh, if yeah. will. Don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Molina. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other main Eyes. characters here. The eye emoji. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but hey, I mean, viable because one, Melina knows, knows there's a secret. I'm just guessing, but... No, she's just jealous. And jealous. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. Oh, then she'd be extra pissed that Mister would be pregnant. Not that, I don't know if she'll ever find out, but... She does, but... <laughs> <laughs> Crazy bitch. Sort of. But no, very interesting. Um, obviously, if you get a point of view chapter, you are seemingly important. So unfortunately, we have to suffer through Melina for the time being. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting, like, but it's a shame she's going into a more sour queen direction mm. instead of, like, an actual she's really, saviour good person. Yeah, she's really, um... Like, resentment and bitterness. Taking on that cold queen yeah, persona, yeah. Because yeah. they are, like, the, oh, the ice queen, if yeah. you will. Yes. Yeah, because they're in the snowy tundra. Okay, so, yeah, I guess the main part of this book was the handing Orin over to Midas and then Midas and Ravager or Rip I guess yeah. or Slade having this deal <laughs> to avoid war yeah. of and course. And then also uh, Midas is like we're gonna have a celebration everyone's yeah. coming why and don't you third, stay. And third army is coming. And third's coming yeah. Third. So stay and then hang out yeah, have Rip's fun. like sounds like a jolly good sure. time. I suppose cause he's trying to call the bluff as well like mm. we're, like at this point they're fine in terms of allyship. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, Ravenger slash Rip yeah. slash Slade want uh, a sign of good faith, yeah. and they want this dead well area. Mm. Sussy wussy. It is very sussy wussy. I tried to look it on the map, and it wasn't on the map on the Kindle, but I think it's going to be connected near where the Seventh Kingdom is. No. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> but right. it's important, and you'll find out. It will be important. And it's connected yeah. to why he's called Rip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's just like, oh, interesting. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, I just thought because, um, you know, we, we now I have... I thought the, that as well, but... We now have the sense that, like, the Seventh Kingdom is somehow, like, making their way back into this dimension for whatever reason, mm. or they're becoming known again, mm. and I just think Rip is I at the helm thought, of that being Faye. Yeah. I also thought something was sussy wussy when the night before or whatever that she's handed back Rip's like, if you want to stay, oh, yeah, I need yeah. to know now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, rip, rip, rip. what about the king? Don't worry about that. And like now it's so yeah. obvious. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, but I just, yeah, I just assumed that he was like the exception to this magic as well. Mm. And Oren was also surprised that um, uh, no one else kind of knew, but only his wrath knew that he was like Fae mm. and everything. And it's like, well, that's why I assumed they were all Fae too, but they all probably just, it's just a powerful guy as well. They all there have are reasons. magic. Oh, but I don't think they're necessarily fair. So obviously, magic isn't as rare as these kings make it out to be. Interesting. We don't want any revolutions around here. Yeah. Very interesting. Moving forward, I'm looking forward to starting the third bookie. I hope it gets more action packed, less travelly. Like it does remind me of from Blood and Ash, but like a bit better than from yeah. Blood and Ash. <laughs> well, they're in the castle for the third one, so. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool, cool. It's fair. It's cool. But yeah, but yeah, we end this book with. Rip revealing that he is slayed, and I'm going to assume he's going to break Orin out, or they're going to be a bit cat and mousey for a while until they get a chance to fuck off. I reckon, or unless more shit is just going to happen in Fifth Kingdom. For the yeah, time and being. also the third book, yeah, is very much um suffers from the last hundred pages curse. Oh, okay, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like you've had three hundred other pages to let us move around. Yeah, <laughs> it's the hundred pages where you're going to do it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything else? I'll quickly go through my notes. I think that was all my notes. Oh, and then, um, yeah, Oren actually reveals she's from Anwin. Anwin, yeah. Anwin, which is the fave place. Which, yeah, I don't know. I was, oh, I was going to say before, um, it's interesting how the author, I suppose, is hiding this information through Oren, despite, I don't know, how significant, I guess, it is. I don't know if that makes any sense. Because, like, we, we learned that, um, the Seventh Kingdom, you know, yeah, historically is a fey place. And, like, we, like, Oren doesn't even mention it until this book that she is, obviously, or recognises that she's from that place and that she is yeah. fey. But I suppose, as a reader, you kind of figure it out on your own. But I suppose, uh, I suppose, if Rip can keep secrets, then our main character can keep secrets, I guess. Yeah, I think, yeah, this one, it's like, what is it, a truth for a truth or you can keep your yeah, secrets. Yeah, or a or lie for a lie or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah there's, so there's a lot that still Except is to come out. The exception is talking about King Ravager, which is obviously means Rip talking about himself. Yes. I bet he is also traumatized. Oh yeah, my note was like, since when does Oren wear gloves? Always mentions the spikes, <laughs> but never the gloves. And yeah, the saddles see Oren as a traitor, which is really sad and harsh. But like, yeah. once they call you a traitor, you just, I know. Like, and fuck then off. when they're like, "Oh, you've obviously like just fucking him now," and I was like, oh. "Yeah, yeah." And it's like, yes, but but yeah, I hope like her and Rissa maintain a relatively yeah. good friendship ish, or they've I suppose they've yeah. trauma but bonded over the Captain Fan situation. Oh, and I love that like the Fourth Kingdom is seemingly progressive because they have women in the army, and yes. then the stark contrast of the Sixth Kingdom being like no woman should ever be in the army. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. blah. Right, I'm trying to find fan art of like this is the only one that I can find of like fan. Rip and Ravenger. Oh, okay, so in I terms of like, their different identities. Yeah. Okay. Same face syndrome. That yeah. could be Dorian. That could that be, be Reese, Rowan. That could be Cassian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alrighty, I think we're done. Shall we go to the stars that listen? Unless you have any other like lingering thoughts. No, apart from like I still can't get past her ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone help me. And just like yeah, how different in vulgarity it is between this book and the first. Book. Oh yeah, definitely. Like yeah, it, can't it comes w- back. Don't worry. Oh, oh no, <laughs> it comes back. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> in case you were missing it. <laughs> I wasn't missing it. It was actually quite nice. I know it's refreshing. It's so good. I don't have to roll my eyes half the time. I have several i have oh. several one because they're funny <laughs> okay and then a bonus funny okay. <laughs> and then okay. one five star all right lovely <laughs> all right so we're gonna go to the stars that listen where we read a one star review or a couple in this instance of one star reviews yeah. and a five star review from goodreads just for shits and gigs 
it pretty much encapsulates what the whole audience thinks yeah. about the book and it's nice to highlight it. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to start with the first one first because we want to end on a positive note because five stars are normally goated. Yes. All right, Kenzie, we can start with your multitude of ones. Okay. I've never hated a female main character so much. <laughs> yeah, I got that one too. <laughs> <I thought> that. <laughs> no. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, shame on me. Oh, wow. The first, this is a bit of a long one, but the first one is bad. They said, once you start the second, it's going to be the best book you've ever read. Well, guess what? It's terrible. The first book was bad enough that half the book consists of Orin traveling from one kingdom to the other and now two thirds of the way through and they still haven't reached their destination. Yeah. Yeah. Which I agree with, but, and then still slightly better than the first one, still wanted to punch everyone in the face. (laughs) And then hold on. Is this not the plot of Court of Thorns and Roses? Not quite, but okay. Yeah. I guess it, but it's the whole, like, the bad guys are the good guys. Yeah. Type and I thing. guess, like, she's, like, being captured by, like, the enemy court yeah. or whatever. Like, and, yeah, yeah, being... And falls in love with... Barred yeah. it off. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Alrighty, my one-star reviews. Yeah. Again, I never hated a female main character so much. <laughs> but then under it was, I'm honestly embarrassed to be logging this on goodreads but goodreads has me in a chokehold mm-hmm. i am trash and so are these books this one referenced come a bit less than the last one so things are looking up <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was it all right um i'll do my bonus one totally expected the scene where Oren is asking everyone why they call the hot spiky fairy rip to turn into him consensually ripping her clothes off it never did and i realized that the real prison of this series is me waiting for any fucking thing to happen <laughs> <laughs> i love it yeah the bonus one is approved yeah, thank you <laughs> lovely right. and then my five star is can't tell if this one was actually much better than the first or if the lack of mind has just made it seem better <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah all right my five star review it's a bit of a paragraph it's okay. a couple of paragraphs That's okay. i had long ones after reading book one i was so depressed i just wanted a better <laughs> life <laughs> i mean fair enough <laughs> I just wanted a better life for Auden because A-U-D-E-N is how they spelt it, but I think they obviously meant Oren. Yeah. For her to see that Midas was just using her. She was so brainwashed that it made me so angry. I wanted to shake her until her teeth rattled just so her brain jump starts, even though I could understand why she was that way. I don't think I've ever felt that emotion about a fictional character before. It took almost forever, but I'm glad that she realized that she could be more than a bird in a cage. Though the end brings more intrigue now that King Ravager is in play. I hope she can hold on to her new found backbone. I was rooting for Queen Melina initially, but she seems as vicious as they come. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Lovely. Alrighty, and that concludes this episode of Letterboxd Book Club. Unless there are final lingering thoughts. Uh, I hope we hear about a television adaptation. <laughs> I, given what the first book is about, I mean, if Game of Thrones can get away with it, yeah. I mean, fair yeah. enough. I, I'm, I'm personally, I'm not asking for this, but okay. I am. I hope, for your sake, yeah. it happens. All right. That's all. Anything That's from all. you? Uh, no, no. Okay. I'm, I'm, I hate I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> I hate I like this it. book. No. <laughs> and it was good. Please read it. Yeah. Catch us on the socials, on the Instagram, link tree in the bio. bio. Find us in all the places. Also, link in the bio on TikTok. And now you can listen to the book on Spotify yeah. and then listen to our podcast straight afterwards. Yeah. How exciting. What, what a wonderful back-to-back scenario yeah. that is. Lovely. What well, such a good idea, Kenzie. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we come up as recommended. Oh, good. <laughs> the I dream. Doubt, I doubt it, though. But yeah. <laughs> I'll pay them. But yeah, check us out on the socials. Catch us next week for... Gleam, I think. Yes. Yeah. 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 Guild, glint, gleam, glow, glow gold. gold. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's a theme happening here. <laughs> but yeah, cool, cool, cool. What a golden way to finish. All right. <laughs> See you all next week. Goodbye. Bye.